Hello, and welcome to our tutorial on how to use Hologic iStore, the fast and easy way to place your orders for a variety of products. We'll show you how to do simple tasks, such as logging in, accessing your store, locating your products, and placing an order, as well as saving carts and lists and accessing your orders. Let's start off by logging into the site. Click on your browser's address bar and type http colon slash slash istore.hologic.com. When you arrive at the iStore site, first you'll need to accept the online store terms and conditions. Be sure to read through and then click on I agree. Next, you enter in your username and password. If you don't yet have a username and password, Click on the New Registration link underneath the login box. Once you are logged in, if you only have access to one store, you'll go there automatically. Otherwise, you'll be prompted to select your store from the drop-down menu. Choose the store you want, then click on the Go button. Now you'll see a list of the products available to your store. You can browse through different products by clicking on them in the left-hand navigation. Click on any item to go to its product description. You can also search for a product by typing its name into the search field in the top right. Or choose your product from the drop-down menu. Or search by part number or item description. A wildcard search is when you know part of the name you're looking for but you're not sure of the whole name. To do a wildcard search, just wrap your search term in percent signs. For example, percent cassette percent. Then click Go to see your search results. To search by a keyword, click on the Advanced Search link. Then enter your keyword in the Search field. You can also use the percent sign wildcard search here. Click on the item link to go into the product description. You can then add the item to your cart by clicking on the Add to Cart button. If you're not ready to place your order at this time, you can save your cart for a one-time use at a later date. To do this, click on the Go button to save to cart. Give your cart a name to help you easily remember it. Then click on the Apply button. To access your saved cart, click on View Saved and Shared Carts in the right-hand navigation. You can then select your cart and click Checkout to add it into your shopping list. The difference between saving a cart and adding a shopping list is that you can only use a saved cart once, and you can use a shopping list multiple times. This comes in handy if you regularly place orders for the same list of items. To create a shopping list, click the Go button next to the Save To List drop-down, then give your list a name. Or if you like, you can replace or add to an existing list. Then click on the Apply button. If you want to delete a previously saved shopping list, click on the Delete button and click Yes. Just like the saved cart, you can access your shopping list by choosing it from the right-hand navigation. Just click on the list name to go into your shopping list. To select every item in your list, click on the Select All link at the top, then choose Add to Cart. To update the quantity for any item, just type a different number into the Quantity field for that item. Then click Recalculate at the bottom of the screen. If you have a promotion code, you can either add it below the cart and click Apply, or click the Promotion Codes tab and then click on Add Promotion Code. Either way is sufficient. Once you're happy with your order, click on the Checkout button. To change your shipping method, simply click on the drop-down menu under Shipping Method. You can change your Ship To Customer, contact or address info by clicking on the Select button to the right. You can search by organization or person, or just type in the account number and click on the Go button. 
enter in any shipping or packing instructions, and click Next. You can choose to invoice or use a credit card. If you choose invoice, you need to enter a PO number. From the credit card drop-down, you can use a previously used card or create a new one. Review your order to make sure that you have the desired quantity of each item in your cart. If you update the quantity, you can then click the Recalculate button to update the totals. At this point, you can still change the shipping and billing and payment information. Once you're satisfied with your order, click on the Place Order button. After the order is placed, you'll receive a confirmation email. At any time after you place an order, you can access it by clicking on the Orders link at the top right-hand corner of the screen. There are different ways to search for an order. You can choose a date and range from the drop-down menu. You can also choose a date range either by typing in the dates or by clicking the calendar icon to select a date. Or you can select another option to search by from the drop-down menu. Then click Go to see the search results. From the Search Results screen, click on any order number to go into the Track Orders screen. Not only will this show orders placed through iStore, but any order you currently have in our system, regardless how you placed it. Now for a few helpful tips. You can always go back to whatever screen you were just on by clicking on your browser's Back button. You can go back to the product drop-down screen by clicking on the Hologic logo or by clicking on the Sites link at the top right. Your saved cart will travel with you from store to store. You can always access your cart by clicking on the Cart link at the top of the screen or in the footer navigation. And remember, the order link is our friend. Access any order you placed, not only through iStore, but also any orders currently in our system. If you ever have any questions, call the customer support number listed on each screen. If you still haven't registered for a Hologic iStore account, just go to hologic.com signup. Thank you for joining us. Happy shopping.